Hi, I'm Tom Clancy. Welcome to SSN. In SSN, you are the commanding officer of USS Cheyenne, an advanced nuclear attack submarine about to go into combat operations with China over control of one of the world's last untapped oil resources. USS Cheyenne is an advanced Los Angeles class fast attack submarine, one of the most sophisticated weapons of war in the oceans today. SSN will depict underwater operations in a visual sense. Now we know there are no windows on submarines, but as a commanding officer, you have to form a mental picture. We'll do that for you. You can think of SSN as a crash course in command of a modern warship. If you survive, I'll see you later. Good luck for now. Are we still in this baffles, XO? Yep, Skipper. We are a ghost. No Chinese boomer's gonna put the moves on the Columbus. Well, keep me updated on his position. He's about due for a missile drill. Con sonar. He's opening his missile hatches. Right on schedule. Let's let him know we're here, XO. Chief, get us out of this trench and blood tubes two and four. Blood tubes two and four! Blood and two and four! Con sonar, new contact, bearing 183. He's right behind us, sir. Where the hell did he come from? He's opening out of doors. Oh my God, it's a trap. He makes a maneuver. Hello, for the mouth plane. Hey, the head flag. 30 degrees on the mouth plane. Con sonar, fish in the water. Launch noisemakers. Emergency blow. Strike for impact. Paramount Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping is dead. Deng was 92. He had been frail for many years and was confined to a military hospital for most of the last 18 months, barely able to speak. Houston-based Benthic Fuels Corporation was up nearly $13 a share on reports of a huge oil discovery in the Spratly Islands in the South China Sea. Some analysts urge caution, however, citing the conflicting territorial claims of the surrounding nations. Deng's hand-picked successor is President Zheng Zemin, who has been waiting in the wings to assume full power. Zheng supports Deng's policy of slowly opening up China to Western-style capitalism. His position is threatened, however, by Premier Li Peng, the hardline Marxist who wants to roll back Deng's economic reforms, which he feels are destabilizing the country. It was Li Peng who presumably authorized the brutal crackdown of dissidents in 1989 and the massacre of students here in Tiananmen Square. For now, there is an uneasy calm in China. This is Greg Hayes at the Pentagon. In a shock move, China has launched an all-out assault on the Spratly Island chain in the South China Sea. We have reports that Chinese forces have overrun positions maintained by other nations who claim the islands as their own, including Malaysia, the Philippines, Brunei, Vietnam, and Taiwan. 